Hi, All Dairy Free Lady here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dairy free mozzarella type sauce. So, for this sauce, you will need some cornstarch, some flour, some lemon juice, your non dairy milk. I like the almond cashew with the protein in it, and some salt. I like the coarse sea salt and a couple of cloves of garlic. So the first thing you want to do is add your liquid to your blender. I'm going to add about one cup of the cashew almond milk. You're going to want to do two tablespoons of the cornstarch. Now, if you want to make this recipe gluten-free, you can skip the flour and instead use three tablespoons of the cornstarch and two tablespoons of the flour. And you wanna level those off. I'm going to add about half of a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to mince up my garlic. And actually you don't have to really mince it up too much. You can just kind of cut it and then add it to the blender and let the the blender do the work. So I'm going to do two, probably like two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And this helps to give it that cheesy flavor and just blend this on low. I just do that for a couple minutes just to make sure that those garlic cloves are nice and chopped up and incorporated. All right, so now I'm going to transfer our mixture to a saucepan. I'm going to put my saucepan on about medium heat. If you can see this mixture, it's a little bubbly at first. What's going to happen as I cook this is you're going to notice that those bubbles start to go away and it's going to thicken. Once it starts thickening, you really want to keep that whisk going. So it takes about five minutes maybe um, for the sauce to start thickening. Depending on how thick you want the sauce, you can remove it at any point. If you want it thicker, you can cook it a little bit longer. If you wanna keep it on the more thin side, cook it a little less time. So see how this is really starting to thicken in the middle. It's even starting to stick to the bottom of the pan. You can turn it down a little bit. So this is about the thickness that I like. You can see the bubbles have gone away and it's just, just kind of a smooth, creamy texture. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some of this in the middle layer of my pasta dish because I want the cheesy goodness throughout the dish. And you can kind of just smooth it with the spoon. And then I'm going to add my other layer of my pasta. Okay, so now I'm going to add my top layer. And you can see it really starts to thicken up. Even as I took it off the heat, it still will thicken somewhat. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about what, you know, thickness you want for your dish. Here we have our baked pasta dish with the dairy-free mozzarella cheese sauce. Hey guys, if you like these dairy-free recipes, be sure to like and subscribe.